And joining me now, Dr. Arthur Laffer, former member of President Ronald Reagan's Economic Policy Advisory Board, chairman of Laffer Associates. All right, it's great to have you with us. Thank you, Lou. It's great to be with you. Donald Trump, will he be good for the economy? And I love the comparison of all the tax plans, but let's not do that to our audience I'm because I love, I love our audience. But your sense of what he can do and how quickly he can do it. I think Donald Trump would be a great president. On economics especially, he's good all the way across the board. He's actually met payrolls. He's actually employed people. He understands how to trade internationally. He knows how to tax us, how to play taxes, how to get rid of loopholes. He's just a consummate person. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Ted Cruz on economics as well, just so you know. But I think Donald Trump would make a great president for the economy. You know, the middle class in this country, I mean, whether it's Ohio, where there's a tough contest tomorrow, whether it's Illinois, uh, Missouri, I mean, these are states that have had the North Carolina, they've had the heck kicked out of them in uh, globalization, in which free trade is a mantra that has no regard for the consequence of uh, this sort of blind corporatist following of uh, the philosophy of free trade, even when they know very well it's not, and that the middle class, working men and women, are going to pay the price for it. Yeah, let, let me, if I can, respond to you a little bit. Florida has not suffered from globalization. It really hasn't. But the other states you're mentioning really have suffered enormously from globalization because, frankly, in worldwide competition, you can't overtax your own industries and expect them to do well. If you've got two locations, Lou, A and B, and if you raise taxes in B and you lower them in A, producers and manufacturers yeah. and people are going to move from B to A. You, you and it's I both know it works this way. If, you, if you don't pay, regard, pay any regard to the consequence of policy, middle class jobs are going to drop like this they're gonna and they're going to go, gonna like go to cheap labor markets around the world. Exactly. We but, made ours so expensive, no one wants to move a factory to Wisconsin this has been going on Michigan. for 25 years. Our, yes, it has. 25 years. Bipartisan Everyone, all everyone the sees the consequences. It yes. takes Donald Trump in the 2016 presidential exactly. race to break through. Why it isn't does. there more regard on the part of corporate America, the Chamber of Commerce, the Business Roundtable, for what they can see is happening to yeah. our working men and women? I think, and a lot of it, Lou, I think a lot of it, Lou, has to do with your commentary, which you're completely correct on. You know, they'd rather do a micro deal that's not per economically profitable because they have influence in one area or another and doing it that way, rather than lowering taxes and competing like mad, which is the American way of doing business. In Ohio, when I lived there, I, yeah, I'm from, born in Youngstown, raised in Cleveland, right. it was the productive state of the nation until they yeah. put in that damn income tax, and then they've ruined my home state. They've Romney's father ruined Michigan with his income tax well, there, gonna... and destroying the base. Well, Romney's I mean, there to have some influence again and if you look at nixon if you look at nixon in missouri well, look what he's done to yeah. that state he vetoed the best plans to legislate they had to pass it over his veto yeah. these people would rather well, buy governor influence nixon, rather than work we should point out you're talking about governor nixon not president yeah, nixon. yes governor, i am governor nixon that yeah. jay nixon he's got yeah. he's got more it's than terrible. a plate full of trouble he Pardon? does and then you get a great state like florida which obviously understands trump totally and i think it's going to be a blowout tomorrow i i hope it is in the other states as well yeah. but i mean it's just a tragedy happening with bad economics and trump understands it he's going to bring the jobs back by lowering taxes making it easier to do business here making inversions not worthwhile and we will prosper okay. like you've never seen all right well with that